The Little Mermaid. Chapter 10. The witch placed her pot in front of the mermaid. Steam formed around the pot. The witch added new things to the pot every second and let it boil until it became a dark pink colour. There it is, the witch said. She cut off the mermaid's tongue and gave her the drink. The little mermaid couldn't speak or sing. If the snakes try to grab you when you pass through the forest, simply throw a single drop of the drink onto them. They will burst into a thousand pieces, the witch said. But the snakes didn't come near her. They became afraid when they saw the special drink in her hand. She quickly swam through the forest and whirlpool. As she swam, she could see her father's palace. The lights were out in the large dance hall. They were surely all asleep inside. She would not wake them up. She could not speak and would be leaving them forever. It felt as if her heart would break from sadness. She sneaked into the garden and took one flower from each of her sister's flower beds. She blew kisses towards the palace. and rose through the dark waters. The moon shone when she reached the prince's palace. The little mermaid drank the burning sharp drink. It felt as though a sword went right through her body. 
she fainted and lay as if dead. She woke. <sighs> up when the sun was shining and felt a burning pain ow in her body the handsome prince was standing in front of her his blue eyes were fixed on her she looked down and saw that her fish tail was gone she had two small legs and she was completely naked. She quickly covered herself with her long hair. Who are you? The prince asked. The little mermaid could not speak. She looked at him gently and sadly with her blue eyes. He then her by the hand and led her into the palace. The End Chapter 10